Welcome to techiv.com channel, your solution providers. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make use of different features and effects in video scribe. Open your scribe. We have created a scribe in a recent video. If you don't know how to do so, you can visit our channel. Now we have this scribe in which we have a image and two text layers. To play with their properties, simply go to the image properties. Here you can see it says draw. Now when we play it, we see that the image is being drawn. Now if we change the brush type and play it again, you will see that the zip is drawing a stitched image. You can change the type. Now you see the color. If you change it, you can change it to outline, grayscale, or slotted. Here you can change the opacity of your image and you can change the orientation and you can change the angle too. The part where it says animate means the time it will take to animate this image. Pause means the time for which it will pause after drawing this image and the transition time means that the time it will take to shift from one scene to the other scene. Now when we play it you see that the hand is drawing this image. If you want this image to be drawn by itself or you want to remove the hand, click this hand icon and go here. Here you can select the empty panel and when you click it you will see that the image is drawn without the hand. If you want this image to move in from any side you can choose the move in tab. Here in this box you can choose the side from where the hand will animate in and the animate pause and transition properties are all the same. Now you play it, you will see that the hand moves in from the right. You can change the type of the motion from here. If you choose bounce in, the hand will bounce in. And if you choose go too far, you will see that it goes too far and then comes back. The rest of the properties are the same. You can see that we are unable to open the morph tab. That's because there is no other image from which this image can morph. To use the morph property, we have to create another image. Let's duplicate this hand. You can duplicate so by creating this copy icon and then this paste icon. Drag it in your timeline to the end. Open the properties. Go to the morph and select your first image. This image is basically this one. So over this image, this one will morph from this one. If you Tick mark clear items, it means that when this image is morphed, it will clear this one. So let's place it exactly above this image or you can place it anywhere and play it. And as you can see, that our image is morphed from this image. You can use the morphing techniques. You can change the angle. And now you will see the difference. You can do the same with text layers. If you want to reduce the animate time, for this layer the animate time is 3 seconds. If we play it, you can change the hand that is drawing this image by clicking here. 
and then you can choose any type you can choose this pen and here it shows the sample that how it will look like so let's see how it looks like if we check in draw backwards it will write the text backwards similarly you can change the angle and the opacity and if you want to delete this layer you can click here to edit this layer click this T icon and edit it here you can change the font and the color to loop in any music or sound effect onto your scribe you can do that from here select any sound effect or music and if you want to loop it along the whole scribe you can loop it here to play any sound effect or the music file just click this play button that's how you play with certain properties in video scribe thank you for watching this video please click the subscribe button and visit techiv.com to ask any questions if you have any queries.